Hey guys, welcome back to Discover Spring Ford. I'm standing in front of the Muscle Therapy Massage Center located on Main Street in Royers Ford. Inside, I'm gonna be sitting down with owners Ellen and Nicole to discuss how they met as massage therapists and decided to start their first business venture right here in Royers Ford. I'm Jeff Desiato, a local realtor, aspiring actor, and transplant to the Spring Ford area. And I'm on a mission to find the best that Spring Ford has to offer. I'll be interviewing local business owners, civil servants, and other prominent members of the community to find out what makes Spring Ford a great place to live, work, eat, and explore. I invite you to join me on my journey as I discover Spring Ford. Ladies, thanks for coming on the show today. I really appreciate the time uh, to sit down and talk with you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Why don't you guys just tell me a little bit about um, how you got into the business? Um, so I personally worked as a, an artist, a mold maker, for 10 years in this little family-run business. And it was a dirty, gross job. Um, and one, at one point, I was at one of these little marketing events and had a free chair massage for probably about 20 minutes. And in the morning, my neck and shoulders felt unbelievable um and it was definitely a call to start doing something else and i've been in love with massage therapy ever since that's great i just love it <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what about when was that 2008 okay. 2007 something like that and then i graduated massage school in 2009 okay that's um, funny that i find that there's there's been a lot of conversations i've had with people and it, it was kind of around that time uh -huh. even with uh people of different demographics yeah like that was because of the economy I don't know if it had something to do with yeah. that or the time of the year um, you know a lot of people like they were either in a business that failed around that time and they decided mm -hmm. to reboot or right. or, or huh. move to another so it's funny That's like I was just talking to somebody uh, doing another episode and they were like yeah it was around 2008 and I'm like I just keep hearing that year as like yeah must have been something in the yeah. in stars, the air yeah. or something right yeah like that yeah. like 2008 was like a, uh, a transitional year Turn for a lot around, of people. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nicole, how about you? How did you get involved in massage therapy? So I actually was like right out of school. I went to college for you know a four year degree for something. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do at that point, um, but it just wasn't working out for me then. And I again got a massage, and I was like, "This is awesome! Like I could do this." And actually, growing up, my mom would always be like, "Rub my neck," and she'd be like, "You're really good at that." So <laughs> I was like, "You know what? I think I can do this. I, I think, think I have a knack for it." I think she said you were good at it, it. just yeah. so that you would yeah. keep doing she's it. Yeah, she's still bothering me about it. Too. Yeah, she's always like, "My neck hurts." I'm like, "Oh, does it?" <laughs> but uh, that'll be that'll cost you. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I just kind of got into it and I started learning about it and how beneficial it is for people and it, that really drew me to it. I really wanted to be um, in a job that I can benefit other people and so I just wanted to help everybody. I'm right. always like that. I'm a carer. No, I appreciate <laughs> it. I, 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 I understand that that mentality because a lot of people, their you know, their personality, wiring, whatever, um, they're okay working a job where they don't necessarily see like the end result, but they yeah. know they're like a cog in the wheel and they're, they're making it happen. Yeah. Um, someone like myself and what it sounds like you is like, like you kind of need to see that what you're doing is having an immediate effect or yeah. impact. Yeah. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I switched careers was because I was in a corporate setting and I felt that I was just like, in a cubicle and didn't really quite understand how I fit in the whole thing. Yeah. So you literally are hands on, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like seeing yeah. the direct yeah. result of the work and the schooling and the experience that you've had yeah. and then seeing the people leave here feeling better than when they got right. here. That's I cool. always like tell people that the best um, compliment that they give me is that when they come out of session, they're like, I feel so much better because that <laughs> makes me feel like, yes, I help yeah. them. And I know that I did something to impact their life. And so it's, a, it's important to know that I helped somebody, you know, feel better. Somebody, especially if they have chronic pain, and for them to come out and say, oh, yeah, I feel so much better. I mean, that's just like, yes, that's what I'm here for. That's what I want to do. So, yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And the longer I practice, the more I realize that every single person has pain of yeah. some kind. Yeah. And yeah, it's hard. Really Life is hard. <laughs> yeah. It really is. But it's, massages are really easy, accessible way to get pretty quick results depending yeah. on what you have going on. So, 
Now, at any point when you were younger um, and you were trying to think about, uh, you know, schooling, college, all that kind of stuff, like, were you on a different path originally before you discovered massage therapy? I definitely was. Yeah. I kind of was, yeah. Yeah. I guess, I guess so. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever, when I was like five years old, was like, I want to grow up and be a massage therapist. No. <laughs> yeah. no. I think it's more, as I got older, I realized that I did not want to be in a corporate setting. I probably could have gone into more of a medical field, but I'm not a good like student. I was always like skipping classes. So <laughs> I was like, let's just get this done and over with. So again, like it was more, I think over time I, I came to realize that like, okay, this is something that, I enjoy and I feel like I could help people and I do think that it just came to me as I got older. Right. Yeah, I think, it, again, it was just that one chair massage and yeah. I, <laughs> I experienced the benefits of it and knew that somewhere deep inside that, that I could pull that off and do that for people. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, so. That's really, I mean, it's interesting like that it could be like that. Just one time. Like, like, like a lightning bolt yeah. kind yeah. of thing. Like, yeah. I know a lot of times um, people have to be nudged for a while. Yeah. And it's like that nagging thing of yeah. like, I should do something about this. And yeah. they take years and the years. But like to have that kind of like, it's like do or die type of like experience. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and then to start to make the decisions in your life to follow that yeah. desire yeah. is really cool. Yeah. So how long were both of you um, working uh, in the industry before you decided to partner up and and do your own studio i think years, we're both yeah. pretty close to this yeah, i graduated in 2018 too yeah or, two, or 2009 2009, 2009. Oh, okay. 2018, okay. <laughs> so we're coming up on 10 years okay um and i think we met probably four or five, five years, years ago, ago. <laughs> um through work yeah. Um, yeah we both worked for the same franchise okay um and i she was always very much in line with my mentality of massage therapy and our approach of how to treat pain um, and we both definitely just always took it really seriously and cared about our clients I think was a huge yeah. draw of how we teamed up so well together yeah and so I actually was leaving the franchise world because I was just ready to take that next step mm -hmm. and I'm like Ellen I'm leaving and she's like no <laughs> and so she's like if you ever want to open a business together just let me know and it just kind of was like okay yeah. let's, let's do it like why yeah. not another here's, lightning bolt here's, yeah, here's <laughs> the time here's yeah. the time like when is the better time to do it you yeah. know like w really in our lives it probably wasn't like the best no. thing to just <laughs> but, but yeah. you know it was one of those things where we were like well it's either gonna work or it's not it's and we way. always say it is what it is so you know like, <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's we, do it. I remember <laughs> that day. We actually were both taking a continuing education yeah. class together. And I remember the ride home. She told me she was leaving. And I was like, do you want to go in on a room together? Yeah. Like, that's so where we started. actually were looking for just a small little one room studio that we could split. Yeah. And somehow we landed in this place. Yeah. And well, we came here. Skyrocketed. Yeah. And it yeah. was like. This is it. We fell in love. Wow. We know yeah. that this is the place <laughs> that we could like make yeah. into something bigger than just doing massages out of an office or a room. Like this yeah. is like something that we can grow and make bigger than just yeah. one, you know. Yeah, so like thing. would it would it have been something more like renting a room in an existing massage therapy center no or it's not like an independent even, contractor type thing where you just kind of take no, space like a business I, office no, or anything we were like just that looking or? for maybe like a little dinky space like, yeah, like, yeah. A, like yeah. a studio apartment that you could convert or something sure, like that something yeah, yeah. like that yeah 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 Definitely and how long that. was it from the time you had that conversation to when you started actually looking for locations <laughs> few weeks yeah because <laughs> I, I i guess when did we take those classes it was probably october and then december is when i left and then we opened or we started renovating here in, in january. january so like somewhere wow. between like you know those two three months that we really were like i mean immediately we're like let's just look for places and see what we have and what's out yeah. there and just see what we can do but we found this place and it, it was, was just Okay, like this is it. <laughs> <laughs> we can fix this place up. <laughs> what year was that? Flash. 2017. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you guys are, you know, coming yeah. up on your second year. Yeah, in we're Rollers about 18 Ford. months now. Yeah. Now, where was it, where were you guys located before um, geographically, and how did you end up in 
Royer's Ford? Was it just uh I think I'm local. I oh, grew okay. up in Lake Schweinsville, Spring okay. Mount. Um, I went to Boyertown. Um, I worked in Collegeville. Okay. I had my all, a lot of my cousins went to Spring Ford, so I was kind of familiar with the area. Mm. Um, and we landed in Royer's Ford just by the sheer grace of finding this place yeah. and falling in love. Yeah. Um, I don't think we definitely did not realize how lucky we were yeah. when we landed in yeah. Sport. Yeah. yeah. It has been absolutely yeah, amazing. Yeah, the people this in this area yeah. are amazing yeah. and yeah. so supportive. And <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sure that uh, people are in the, that are watching are going to get tired of me saying this, but one of the reasons <laughs> we ended up in Royce Ford, the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, we laugh about it, my wife and I, because I grew up in Northeast Philadelphia. Um, my wife grew up in kind of a uh, very, very woodsy area outside of Easton, Pennsylvania. Yeah. So we're kind of from different area upbringings. Um, but we lived in Philadelphia together for a number of years and then in the Lansdale area. And one of the things we first noticed when we came out this way was that like when you're at a light or you have to make a turn, people actually let you. <laughs> we were like, wow. And they're like graciously, like enthusiastically it's waving you on. <laughs> And we went into the Wawa, and the people looked us in the eye and said, hey, how you doing? Yeah. And I was like, whoa, this is hard for a Northeast Philadelphia kid. Yeah. Usually yeah. if people look at you, they're like, why are you looking at me? Yeah. You know? yeah. like, what's yeah. wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. So no offense, Northeast Philadelphia. Yeah. But like, seriously, you guys, you guys know better. Than that. Um, but yeah, people are probably tired of me hearing me say that same story, but that's the first time you guys heard that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, so how about you, Nicole? Like, where where are you originally from? And, and I'm actually originally from the Poconos. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so I moved here because my husband grew up in Northeast Philly as oh, well. Okay. Yeah, and he lived in Springford here. Um, and then we worked in Collegeville for a long time. Oh, okay. So that's so you're what, pretty familiar with the area. Yeah, as well, so yeah, yeah. I've lived here for the past. It's been like nine years or so ever yeah. since I you know started. So. Um, I just think that this area, and we kind of looked at different areas, but this one specifically, we're like, okay, we need to be in either this town or a town over, just in this general area, because we know that they're trying to revitalize and make right. new things and put new businesses in. So I think it was like perfect, honestly, yeah. especially with what they're doing around here. It's well, like it's awesome. really, it's really encouraging, especially, you know, to hear this is really your first business venture yeah. and to hear that you're daring and maybe... <laughs> Maybe, you know, if you were more experienced, you would think more about, like, <laughs> being, somewhere like being somewhere where it's, like, you know, a no-brainer. There's yeah. millions of people. But yeah. the fact that you guys are here and it's the the injection of youth and yeah. um, people who w have that reasoning behind coming to Royer's Ford is yeah. huge. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. So uh, it's very encouraging to hear you guys say that because I feel like there's, there's similar stories among, especially mm -hmm. as I... I'm hitting the Main Street businesses mm -hmm. in Spring City, Royer's Ford. Obviously, mm -hmm. we're going in Limerick and Upper Providence as well. Mm -hmm. um, but specifically, the Main Street businesses, I sat down with um, the owner of Chopper's Hair Shop, which yeah. will be an episode coming up, so stay tuned. <laughs> um, and it was a similar story. Like, he, he saw what was happening in Phoenixville. He saw what was happening, you know, after Concha Hocken. And right. he said, just follow the river. Yeah. Like, yeah. let's go. It's yeah. moving further north. Yeah. Like, yeah. the revitalization efforts are moving further yeah. north. And yeah. Warner's Ford was the next one in line. Right. Yeah. And he's been here for eight and a half years now. Yeah. And he's, right. seen, he's seen businesses try and, and, and leave. And, yeah. Or businesses that were here and, and closing and stuff like that. But he's also seen the newer businesses coming in and sticking it out. Yeah. And they're going to be on the ground floor of what becomes... Yeah hopefully something yes. fantastic and yeah. it started we're starting to see the effects yeah. of that which is yeah. really encouraging yeah, yeah. It is, it's even the last 18 months yeah. we've definitely felt the wave from like local government and even yeah just being embraced by local business owners to welcome us and you yeah. know, which yeah. is luck it's and then, you know we have the business association which is really yeah. you know mm -hmm. picking things up and um i feel the same way like the first episode of discover springford nobody knew who i was right. and they were like we don't know who you are but this is cool so we're gonna <laughs> yeah. give you all of our support yes. like yeah. and it was yeah. just like it's so it's so different it wasn't yeah. like people were like who are you outsider coming into art it yeah. was like yes please yes. come in you yes. know like it was really welcoming yeah. it, it's been it's really awesome i'm glad to hear that that's been your experience yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah totally yeah so um tell me a little bit about how you guys um started out like how, how once you came in started revitalizing the building um to make it more for your purposes 
um, what what did the start of operations look like for you guys? <laughs> like the first couple weeks, and we, like <laughs> we called it our Victorian nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like we, it, we just uh, kept imagining our own DIY show. <laughs> <laughs> um, just this was we a really fails. hard. Place yeah. To yeah. Oh, there were definitely two steps forward, and one step back. It was just one thing after yeah. another. I mean, even still. <laughs> like, yeah, we still, still we still struggle yeah. with something once in a while. Yeah. 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 But um, I think from the beginning, though, like business itself was okay, just like steady. And it just has like grown and grown and grown. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes we'll have like a slow week, but then the next week it will be like, oh my gosh, I can't even do one more massage. But that's crazy. Yeah, it's been really good. I, I think from the beginning, you know, like it, we would have never thought that we would have been where we are now and yeah. grown like how we have. So it's really, yeah. I'm feel yeah. very thankful. Yeah, I anticipated having to potentially like, work a job mm -hmm. and feed money into the yeah. business for a while but um i don't know established a pretty good clientele pretty quickly um and just are letting it grow now now um, when you came and started did you have to start over with clientele or did you have yeah. kind of personal clients and stuff or that was the corporate client yeah probably, we could right? we could yeah. not take Compete clients whatever, from yeah, yeah they yeah. So you were starting with zero. Zero. Oh my gosh. Zero. Yeah. You know, we did get some Facebook feedback um, that people just found us like yeah. through yeah. that, but we never ever reached out to anybody because we were worried about being, you know, sued or yeah, you know, right. something like that. We were like, nope, don't even. After doing all this and getting this all together and how stressful that was, we were like, nope, that's the last thing that we want to happen. Yeah, so right. it's more definitely start just start with a clean slate. And shape. I think yeah. too, I want. We kind of talked about like how we wanted to prove to ourselves that we could start from the bottom right. and like yeah. work our way yeah. up. I think it kind of. Um, what do I want to say? It it was a uh, rite of passage. Yeah, like yeah. I just wanted to <laughs> prove. You know that yeah. I could do that on my own and not have some um, big name company behind me right. that is bringing in clients because they have that name in the um, advertising that you know here we just started from nowhere we're just yeah. oh we have a slide I out think front. the huge driving force in the beginning was social media and the sign mm -hmm. um, and then from there definitely word of mouth was yeah our clients have been really great about yeah. yeah, telling their friends and spreading the words. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I would think that you know, especially since you're coming from a more corporate uh, or franchise setting, it would be harder to kind of do it your way. Yeah. If the people had come from another location and had an expectation of what you yeah. had done for them there, yeah. so that is kind of a it's a very brave thing that you did yeah. but i think it in the long run it allowed you to build your brand yeah and your unique approach yeah. to massage services right. and therapy um that people will hopefully continue to spread you know yeah. word of mouth Honestly, because of it i do think that whoever if anybody were to follow us or find us um that their experience would be much different than what they get at a franchise and that's been a huge reward for both of us i think in the last 18 months that we don't operate on a 50 minute business model um i don't have to rush my client off the table i can talk to them for five minutes mm -hmm. about their pain and develop a treatment plan versus just throwing a cup of water at them and pushing them out the door yeah. and getting into the next one so that has been amazing and i think the client experience has really benefited from us mm -hmm. just slowing down a little bit yeah mm -hmm. that the, the, unfortunately as businesses grow they need to keep people moving in and out of the yeah. doors and that's yeah. just kind of yeah. the way it is and yeah you know in our society the the, the fast food uh, yeah. mentality yeah. of like in right. and out in and out um you know it works and it's a model that works for a lot of businesses, but I feel like we're starting to trend back towards the more personal interaction, yeah. 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 taking our time. People are willing to wait a little bit longer if the quality is gonna be yeah. better. Whereas before it was like, I don't have time. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. I don't care right. if the quality stinks, I want it now. Yeah. I think we're starting to fight against that. Right. So yeah. that's really yeah. cool that that's something that you guys really- Right, and especially something approach. with massage therapy is you kind of, kind of can't rush it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah. kind of productive. People walk out like, well, I'm, not, I'm only half done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't loosen up the other side. Um, yeah. It's what you said uh, too, I don't mean to, to bring this to me, but um, the thing that you mentioned about you wanted to prove to yourself that mm -hmm. people, someone wasn't handed, like that, 
I, I that speaks so much to me because mm-hmm. I said that too when I got like into the real estate business because a lot of people don't understand how it works. Like yeah. they think you work for a brokerage and they like give you real estate business right. to work on. Right. I'm like, no, yeah. it doesn't work like that at all. You literally hang your license at the office and then they say, good luck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they provide things, but anything they give you, they then get a larger chunk of that business back. Right. So I was like, well, I don't want to be relying on my brokerage to provide my business for me. I need to build it myself, Mm -hmm. which has taken much longer than it would have otherwise. Um, But because I was, I needed to prove to myself that I could stand on my own two feet. I didn't have to run back to, because I was like, I got into my own business because I wanted it to be exactly that, my own business. Not like that I was relying on like a hand-me-down from somebody yeah, else because yeah, yeah. that's what I could have stayed in the corporate world if right. I wanted that if right. I wanted you know guaranteed this and that yeah. um there's so, something about like doing things yourself that it like it gives you more pride like yeah. you're like I'm really proud of this like I worked really hard and I grew and did this on my own I didn't right. need anybody else behind me there's something that I don't know deep within you're like feel really good about yeah you know? it's it, it's really exciting to hear someone who I, I believe were I mean I think you're probably a little younger than me but uh, in a similar uh, age range because I think not to speak for older the older generation <laughs> but I think that sometimes we younger Millennials whatever you want to call us um, get the like people think that we are entitled sure so um, I'm not gonna say that that's not true in some ways <laughs> but <Yeah>. um, <laughs> with some people yeah but I feel like we've kind of, you know, that American dream aspect of like picking yourself up by your bootstraps and stuff. Like it is yeah. alive and well. Yeah. But, you know, whether it's media or something like that, yeah. they, they want to like paint and label people. And, you know, there are a lot of people that don't want to pull themselves up. They want yeah. people to bail them out and right. that kind of thing. Right. But um, I find it really exciting the more I do these interviews to hear that like bootstrapping mentality yeah. like let's do this yeah. like yeah. you know yeah. like through thick or thin through pain pleasure yeah. whatever yeah we're gonna we're just gonna lower our head and we're gonna yeah yeah we're gonna move forward that's yeah. really it's definitely been a lot of work but it, yeah. it's it's good you know yeah, we had no I- we had no <laughs> idea how hard it was gonna be yeah. I never once thought it was gonna be easy but no. then once we were in it we were like oh my god this is really yeah. The thing is, too, it's like, everything. it's just us. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think people sometimes realize, like, it's us. Sometimes I'm, like, in the grocery store with my kid on my hip, and I'm, like, answering a phone call, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, so, yeah, yeah it, it's just us. And so yeah. we don't have, like, a receptionist. We It's it's just us. Yeah. So. I think it's cool, too, like... You, you probably get this out like, oh, it must be great to work for yourself. Nobody oh, yeah, telling you what yeah. to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Like, so nice to make your own I've hours. worked more hours and yeah. harder yeah. than I ever did yeah, totally. than when I worked by, yeah. totally. for somebody else. Yeah. And yeah. also, um, I have my own HR company, I have yeah. my own yeah. health insurance, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. provide like I'm a little bit of a landscaping. Yeah. Pest yeah. <laughs> 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 control. Right. Took out their bolts like last week. I had no idea that's yeah. good. It's good though. You're getting in touch with the yeah. earth, the earth, and, and, yeah. and, and it's translating yeah. into your oh, therapy. Yes. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, that's great. So, yeah. um, tell me a little bit about um, what people can expect when they come in uh, if they were looking to schedule an appointment. How they can go about doing that. Mm-hmm. Maybe some uh, things that are coming up in the future, or, or future business plans, or things that you're hoping to roll out next year and beyond. Yeah. Um, I think initially they'll come into a really relaxed environment um, and every session is custom tailored to specific needs. So if somebody just wants to relax, we can do that. If somebody has chronic pain issues, we have a lot of tools up our sleeves um, to really tailor a treatment plan for people. Um, We're like learning and uh, doing new continuing education. So we are learning Gua Sha, which yeah. is the new. I've uh, heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just trying to learn and expand what we have. Like she said, we have all these tricks up our sleeves. We just want to learn and um, give different experiences, not just that cookie cutter massage where everything, like she said, is customizable. Like if you want to come in and have just neck pain, let's just work on your neck. Like let's just do that. Um, I think in the future we definitely want to add different services that other people aren't um, 
offering in the area. So something like um, gua sha or, or we do like cupping and uh, table time massage. It's just not your typical things that you see. So we just want to be able to expand and give people other uh, ways of healing. Yeah. Yeah. Really What's cool. coming up in the future? What's coming up in the future? I think we're definitely going to introduce um, a new upgrade menu oh, yeah. um, at some point yeah. in the near future. I think further down the line, we would really like to also start having this be some type of a home for massage therapists as well. Oh, we'd okay. really like to offer continuing education Classes. and kind of make it, it a group effort to right. push our industry ahead yeah. medically speaking yeah um, yeah definitely so that that's probably a year or two down the pipe but i think that's going to be a big one for us to start rolling the ball on yeah. that we do have an event coming up in uh november november 10th we'll be doing a holiday party at velvet luxe salon yeah. oh great yeah, yeah like another main street business yeah, yeah. 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 We like that, yeah. for sure, yeah. 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 the synergy. Yeah. Um, so it would be a good night out to come and meet you know, some local businesses yeah. and get free chair massages yeah. and maybe hand massages. Yeah. And, okay. and like, is that a, open to the public? It event, is, or yeah. Do they have to register in advance or anything like that? I think or? there is going to be a register. We haven't like made the event yet, but I yeah. think there is going to be some type of like sign in or yeah, maybe I, sign up just so we have an idea of like details food are and okay. and we'll around. have that on your Facebook page or yes. website oh, yeah. so we'll, yes. all those links we will have below the video like we always do so people can click out to them they'll yep. be on our website awesome. cool. and it actually works out timing wise for when yeah. this episode will be uh, published yeah. so it'll be in advance of that event uh, yeah. if you're watching it fresh when it's new if you find this video a year after it was released then <laughs> sorry you missed it. Yeah, but uh, might have another one yeah for <laughs> sure but you can still find out about the muscle therapy massage center uh on main street in Royers Ford. so anything uh any final statements you guys want to make or life lessons you've kind of clung <laughs> to uh, as you do this business venture um Come see us. We'll yeah. help you out with pain yeah. yeah. or relax. Life yeah. is stressful and we will help you. Yeah. So come check us out. We're good people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely vibing. I think, I think we got two good good eggs over here. So you should definitely uh, come check the, the ladies out here at yeah. Muscle Therapy Massage Center. Ellen, yep. anything? I uh, know. I think we got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Our website. Should we? Yeah, go yeah, for it. Our website is www.mtmcmassage.com. You could book right online. Pay oh, for it there. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty high tech for just a two person operation. I know. Well, cool. we have to handle it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We need somebody else to do a little bit. Of it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So mtmcmassage.com. Yeah. Great, yeah, we'll make sure that's available. And you guys are pretty active on Facebook. We are, yeah, follow uh, on Facebook. Yeah. Sometimes we run specials and promotions, definitely. Any Try other to... social media channels channels that people should no, follow no, you on? Or Facebook's involved. the primary. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting, it's getting uh, unmanageable it is. <laughs> at this point. Yeah, for sure. Simplify. I think it's like, I'm sure there are nit niches, niches of all the other d different platforms, but... Facebook is like the ten pole one. I agree. Right? Like, I agree. As long as you're there, I know. I was talking about another business. They don't even have a website. They do all their stuff through Facebook right. because it's wow. like, what's the point of maintaining a website yeah. anymore? Yeah. Um, obviously, there are reasons to have your own yeah. headquarters or hub online. Right. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's crazy the yeah. tools that are available yeah. that weren't previously yeah. for promotion and things yeah. like that. Even yeah, even advertising you can run on there too, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, it's good. yeah that's awesome. Yeah. So people like the page on Facebook because you might be able to get a special uh, going on uh, at Muscle Therapy Massage Center. Ladies, thank you so much for thank your time. You. Thank I really you appreciate for coming. it. Yeah. It, it was went great. really quickly, like <laughs> super quickly. A lot of I always enjoy the conversations when we can laugh and and uh, just enjoy the journey that we're on as business owners and all mm -hmm. that. Um, so please check out the business all right on Main Street in Warriors Ford Borough. You will not regret it. And guys, ladies, if your significant other <laughs> has a birthday at Christmas, <laughs> yes. you know, gift card, a massage. I mean, like, that's what like the better? best gift. Yeah, it like really is. Gift. Like you are giving them like longer life, less stress. <laughs> yes. Relaxed it's muscles. It's just that you like, care. Yeah, right. Yeah. For sure. And I will, I will, we're in the entryway of the building, but as soon as I walked in, I felt relaxed. So uh, you will not regret it either. So, ladies, thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you all for watching.
Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode on Discover Springford. If you'd like to hear the full unedited conversation, then I encourage you to subscribe to the Discover Springford podcast. You can do that on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Podbean, Stitcher, or any other podcast app. I also want to thank Nicole and Ellen for their time and want to encourage you to check out the Muscle Therapy Massage Center for yourself. If you'd like to support Discover Springford, you can do that in any of the following ways. You can go to our website and make a one-time contribution via PayPal. You can also become a monthly supporter on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Finally, we do have merchandise for sale. We have car magnets and t-shirts for you to represent Discover Springford and the Springford area. Thanks a lot for watching. I encourage you to get out there and start your own journey to discover what makes the Springford area a great place to live, work, eat, and explore.